Okay, so here we've got all of our parts um, we've cut out last week. Now, I've just done a bit of a dry fit, or a quick, quick fit together, just with some little tabs of sticky tape, um, just to check that uh, all my sizes are right. I can see down the end here that my elevator, I'm gonna need to take a little bit more material off just either side of this so that it's got some room to move. At the moment, it's a little bit tight, so we're gonna have to take a cut off of there. Um, you'll notice as well that the ailerons are able to move up at the moment, but they can't move down. So what we're going to do in the next, next uh, part of my videos is we're going to cut a 45 degree chamfer out of here so that they can move 45 degrees down as well. So we'll just pull the plane apart and uh, we'll have a look at the cutting board. Okay, so with my cutting mat and my uh, standing knife and my safety rule, we're going to do this 45 degree chamfer. Now we want to be careful once you've sort of fitted it together to check everything's uh, the right shapes that we don't mix them up and take a chamfer off the wrong one. So, I need to take a 45 degree cut off of this edge along here on the aileron. So we're not doing it to the wing, we're doing it to this aileron. So just be careful when you're doing this that you don't get mixed up and put it on the wrong side. And this is the top of my material, I want to take it off the bottom. So I want to take it off of this inside corner here. What I'm going to do is uh, rotate it around just to make it easy for myself. Put a safety rule right up on the edge of the material. I'll bring that around for the camera so you can see right up on the edge and I'm going to get my knife and hold it um, leaning over so you don't want to be cutting up like this because it doesn't cut very well so leaning over but also at a 45 degree sort of so it's cutting underneath the uh, steel roll so we'll go under like this and you need to do this one as accurately as you can so that it fits on to the wing Just move my safety rule up a little bit. And you should be left with a 45 degree corner and then a nice edge like that. Can we see that? Okay, so that one's done. If I was to tack that back on just with my little tabs of sticky tape. Now I've got movement down as well as up. So we need to do that to both ailerons, the bottom side of the elevator, and also we need to do the rudder so that the rudder can move directly, uh, freely both ways. It's not really going to matter which side you do this on, but if I'm looking at the plane from the top, I'm probably going to take my chamfer off of this inside corner here. Now we talked before that I needed a little bit of clearance either side. It was a snug fit. I think that I might uh, take it off of the insides of these rather than take it off of my tail of the body. Um, I'm going to take about two millimetres off each side and it doesn't need to be too accurate so I'll just quickly do that with a standing knife. So my ruler will give about two mil. Same on the other side so that it's even. And we'll just check that that's going to fit together onto the tail. Now you can see I've got a little bit of freedom either side of my elevator and it also moves in both directions to about 45 degrees. Lastly, I'm going to look at the rudder joint and I'm going to take it off with this inside piece here.
Okay, and this is probably optional, but what I'm going to do is my um, when I first cut it out, I had some tearing in it, a little bit like about like that. Um, possibly because my blade wasn't sharp enough, but I was also rushing a little bit. So I'm just going to take a bit of a, uh, a 45 degree cut down halfway on a bit of depth. And it's hard to explain, except I've done it to the bottom. So just a bit like that, because this is going to be a, a front edge. Rather than the wind colliding with a straight 90 degree end, um, I thought it would be better if I take it down to a point just a little bit. Um, so it's only six mil, so it's not vital, but uh, I think it might make it fly just a little bit better. So we'll give that a go. So this one, I'm just resting the ruler back about four millimeters, maybe three millimeters, and with a knife, just on the in the other direction, um, taking a bit of a, a cut off. We just want to try and make sure this is all even. So there we go, we've got a bit of a, a point on our wing now rather than having a 90 degree angle.